Hey guys, and welcome back to Mischief Maker TV. Now today I am gonna be answering a question that is always, always given to me across all social media platforms. And that is, what armor am I running and why? So let me just start off by saying, if you're gonna take any Jeep vehicle off-road, you are gonna wanna make sure that you have two things done. And that is you wanna protect your drivetrain, which is everything underneath, and you wanna protect the body of your vehicle. Now, let me answer the question right now, and then I'm gonna go through everything with you. So I'm currently running everything Genrite body armor wise. Why? Now there are a couple of reasons for this. The first being Rockstar Garage is affiliated with them, which is cool. And secondly, and most importantly to me, is that their armor is made of aluminum. So when you have a 7,500 pound Jeep, you wanna try and keep that as light as possible and uh, stop adding that weight because then you come into all kinds of difficulties not only on the trails but with uh, trailers and taking it across country you gotta really be careful with that weight so now we're gonna take a walk through okay so i want to start with the two main points that always get hit hard and the first being the corner armor let me just show you what i mean for those of you who don't know it's right here, all of this right here. And this corner right here normally gets it the most. Now, the amount of times I've been out with friends wheeling who have not had any armor on here have lost their tail lights and completely crushed their corners in. And nine times out of 10, they just pull it out because it's always something that happens to them. But with having this, it doesn't happen at all. These have actually just been freshly painted, so there's no scratches. You can't really see anything there, but I can guarantee you in a couple of weeks, um, this is going to be a little wrecked. And it normally always happens when I am climbing something pretty vertical and um, it goes a little off camber and three wheeling. That's normally when it happens to me. So this is point number one that gets an absolute beating. And the second part, I'm sure you've already guessed, it is the rocker guards and the rash guards. Let's take a look at those. So the Genrite rock guards actually come in three pieces. So you have this back panel, this back panel right here. Um, you have this part, the step right here, and then you have the rash guards. Now listen, if they did not make this rash guard to go over the rock guard, I would probably be through a couple of sets of these things. This was a very, very awesome design. So we have everything right here. And let me just say everything, everything is aluminum with the exception of the rash guard that is steel. But look at what damage this has taken. Again, I just quickly painted this over, but you can see all the scratches anyway without that and all the bashes and bends. It really does hold up so good. As most of you know, there has been so many times where I've actually relied on that rock guard to get me over or around obstacles as you're just a way to see right now.
Isn't it incredible how it took all of the weight of the Jeep, basically, and pivoted that around? Um, that's happened a couple of times, not by mistake, that's just how you get through some of these obstacles. So these have been super sturdy. They've not only protected my body of the Jeep, but they've protected the doors. Now, there is another option that Genrite does. It's more of a tube, which is pretty cool. I actually used to run a different company way back in the day when Mischief was first being built. And um, I liked those two. They were Poison Spider and they were great, but I really do love the fact that everything is protected here and that rash guard is just key for this. Now let's talk fenders for a second. Obviously the Jeep came with factory fenders and I absolutely adore them still to this day. Unfortunately, I've become a little bit of a hardcore wheeler and they would not do well at all. So let's go take a look at those fenders, front and rear. So I am running the JK front and rear tube fenders. Again, Genrite. They are super, super light. And even although my tires do stick out, there have been times where I have depended on my fenders to keep me from falling over right here, especially in the, in the front. And let's take a look at the rear. So the rear fenders have been the star of the show. I have completely, again, I just had all of this painted so you can't see, but I have scraped all the way along here. Let's actually see if we can see it on the other one a little better. Nope, you can't. Um, <laughs> But believe me when I say these were all completely scraped. I've actually had them refilled for a new start for the new wheeling year. So he's looking pretty sparkly, but normally he does not look like this. And probably after a couple of wheeling trips, you know he's going to look back to normal and um, he's going to be all scuffed up and used and abused. But look how much the tire actually sticks out from that fender. So you can imagine the positions that I've put myself in to scrape up this whole entire part right here. And you can actually tell, maybe tell a little right here with the cage as well. So this was all at the same time. Now it is kind of funny because maybe seven out of 10 people think that I'm not running any armor at all because it is all chief blue, um, but I am absolutely running armor. I would be so silly not to, otherwise the body of this Jeep would just be trash. Now, let's move on to the bumpers. So now I wanna to talk to you guys about what bumpers I chose. So in the front, I chose the ultra clearance bumper. Now. As you can probably tell, it's changed again a little bit. Um, I was running the one without the loop before, but decided to go for a little bit of a different look this year. And yes, I did have it on before and I was running it raw, but I just couldn't do it. I had to color match it. I had to make it chief blue. So I've just installed the bumper on today. Um, haven't quite finished yet, but I really like the look of this. So with the ultra clearance, it's pretty awesome actually. The bumper ends up sitting just a little higher. So when you approach an obstacle, you don't get stuck as much. And as you can see, it's cut off at the sides. So let's go take a closer look so you can see what I mean. So as you can see, everything is cut. It's not a full length bumper and high clearance right here. So it just gives you more room to get up that obstacle without hitting anything. So as you can see, this is a beautiful, no, I'm joking. <laughs> 
here we are right here. I'm actually installing this tomorrow. Again, this just came from paint, so it's not quite on the Jeep, but this is the JK rear bumper with toe points. So obviously my little toe points will go right in here. And this also comes with a rash guard. Now check this out. Check all of this. Pretty awesome. So there you have it guys. I have answered the question about armor. Um, absolutely adore the armor that I have and that I've chosen because when you're out on the trails, you need quality armor so that the body of your vehicle can stay safe. Now there are so many companies out there that actually produce some great looking armor, but if you are in the market and you are looking for some armor, why not check out Jen Wright's page also and see what they have, see if anything tickles your fancy. So guys, if you are enjoying this channel, remember to subscribe. Also hit that like button or give me a thumbs down. Always leave me a comment. I love talking to you guys online and remember to hit that notification bell. So until tomorrow morning, guys, adios.